Hey guys, we're back with another one. Well, last time we did the Red Trail, today uh, we were up at Empire Lakes again. Uh, as you can probably see behind us, it's beautiful. And uh, we are going to do the Blue Trail, which is the big one. And judging by the map that I'm about to show you, it's going to take us quite a while to get around, but uh, it should be a whole lot of fun. Alright, see you on the other side. Okay. So you can see the red trail is the one in the middle and we are going to be... We are here. Yeah. And we need to head down here and instead of going around, instead of turning there like we normally do, we're going to... Go that way. Yeah. Good to you guys. As you can see, it's like just really beautiful. Apparently, this is a really good uh, fishing spot too, so you can get some nice trout here. They keep these lakes well stocked. So I'm definitely, since the last time, I'm definitely getting my fishing license back and coming up here. It's just look at that. I mean, sitting there for an afternoon, fishing away, getting no complaints from me. We have never done this, we've never been around the blue trail. So this will be really good. Oh, okay. oh, you can see the view of the lake here. It's beautiful. Like here now, this has, you know, a couple of fishing chairs, fish away there for the afternoon. It's really cool. We get a couple of kayaks, go out in the middle and you fish. Can, you can also rent kayaks here, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure the cost, but I'm pretty sure they're low cost, and you can go kayaking on the lakes, which is really cool. I just chill out, there's plenty of these benches along here as well, all the way around. You can have a rest if that's what you want. And for the most part it, it's you know heavily forested so you get protection from the wind. It tends to be very windy around here. But you get shelter from it here and also shelter from the sun. Now we're on the blue trail. Now we're on the blue trail. We'll try and get all the way around. As you can see, it's very heavily forested, which is lovely. It's nice to see. No way he was going to be able to stop if we'd been out in the middle. 
We're gonna plunge straight into it. Okay, here's the first question. Which way do we go? That's the yellow trail on the left. Oh, there's three trails, a yellow trail as well, it's, which is slightly shorter, is it? No, the yellow trails connect the blue trails with the red trails. Ah, gotcha, okay. Wow, so this we will, lake is huge. So going this way, we will always pick the right-hand path. Okay. Ooh, look at the birds. Very nice. Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? Some nice patches of uh, either, those are either lilies or skunk cabbage. What are lilies from here? They're kind of way out there in the water. Yep, seagulls have a nice bath. Yeah. Another bench here. Oh, you can see them more up close there, see? I imagine that uh, early in the morning, yeah. the uh, wading egrets might like this place. Yeah. When there are no people around. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I, says, I love the, the whole thing about the, these trails is that there's lots of inclines up and down and so you get great exercise from walking around them. Nice. This, this is a lovely steep incline now that we're going up, and you can feel it like, and that's what you want.
Uh, I presume around to the right here. Nope, not around to the right. Just an access way. Yeah, that's just an access way there. You go straight on. And that way would to take you back down to the red trail. Yep. Yeah. Oh wow, cool. Now we have a steep decline. This one is actually very twisty turny compared to the red one, isn't it? It is. Well, the red one, I guess, is as well, but... Yeah, I like this. There's lots of curves, lots of up and down. This is really good exercise. And we're going at a fairly good pace too. Again, another nice bench for you to sit down. Catch your breath if you need to. Yeah, around to the right again. That way probably goes back to the red trail. Love all the shadows. It's another access way out there. Oh, it'd be nice to live there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be nice to live in that neighbourhood and be right next door to these parks. So it takes us to 
go around the red trail it takes us about 25 minutes at good pace so this one should be a lot longer oh yeah i know this place this is where uh on the red trail we normally come down this hill and go down that way right around the lower lake so this is where, for a little while anyway, both trails are the same. Yeah, again, fairly steep incline here. Parks and Rec do keep a very close eye here as well, make sure everything is okay. We saw them here yesterday. They do a good job. I guess um, there's another bench, we get another fantastic view of the lower lake from up here, you can see it there, it's just so beautiful up here. Now here's where we split again, so at the moment we're on you know, the, this little part that we just came off it's both the red and the blue, but this is where it splits again. That's the red trail that we saw in the last video. And here we go again, down onto the blue trail. another bridge. So you can see uh, there are plenty of resting points all the way around. One thing you do have to be careful of in, in spots, uh, the pavement rises up because of tree roots and you have to be aware of that just in some certain areas, not to trip over them because they can be hard to see.
just another access point right there. Plenty of access to this park too, all the way around. And another little trail out into the woods. We're not hearing too many birds today, but I think it's because it's the afternoon. I don't know if you. Yeah, they're all probably napping. Yeah. Oh, I see the clouds moving up ahead. Wow, they're really they're moving, aren't they? Oh, I know the wind up there must be incredible. And another uh, relatively sleeping time. This is the way to continue on the blue trail, and that probably goes back around to the red trail and another resting point right there. Well worn out, aren't they? They are the signposts. Deep decline into Big Hill. Up here. And this is what we want. And another resting point. down there. Uh, that trail there will go back to the red trail. We're going to continue on the blue trail, not this hill. And into a, a steep decline. Wow, this is awesome. This is very it is, this is another one that's very kind of middle earth, you know. In case you're wondering where all the talk of Lord of the Rings comes from, I do actually love uh, Tolkien's work. And I stream Lord of the Rings online on my Twitch channel. Twitch channel, of course, is Tux Ramus. Oh, 
proper uh, way to join up with the red trail, I think, there. And maybe. Yeah, and we'll continue along here. Yeah, this is really kind of. Well, of course, apart from the, uh, uh, the footpath. Yeah, cool. Oh, this is just incredible. And look at the size of these trees. Just beautiful. I can hear sparrows and geese. Yeah, no. Uh. There's three trails here. That one looks like just a yellow. No. So here might be another exit point. Here, so I was just the way around. I think that's probably an exit point, but the only way we'll know is to walk it. Well, we can have a look. We can always double back. And everybody gets to see. Yeah, we'll just stop up here too. This might be the blue crop. There is so much to explore up here in Empire Lakes. It is a fantastic local resource to have. Just invaluable to people really. So many ways, you know, for your, your health and fitness, for your mental health. It's just, it's just lovely. is down there so this might actually be an exit point yeah it looks like this is just an exit point but it's good to discover that It's an exit, you can see down there. All right. Long let's... pathway to the exit. <laughs> it's a long pathway to the exit, yeah. All right, we'll swing around and uh, get back up onto the blue trail. Won't take us long. Oh, and I do actually stream, I multi-stream these days, so I do actually stream on YouTube at the same time as Twitch. So. For fans of YouTube, if you're not getting left behind. Both platforms are excellent.
tonight, for the first time in a while, I'm going to stream some Star Wars The Old Republic. That is an awesome MMORPG. Especially for Star Wars fans. It really captures the atmosphere. twisted branches and stuff. What kind of bird that is? Oh, I mouse didn't make it. It's a little dirt trail. What kind of bird is that? Sounds like a seagull, is it? Of course, now it's not going to call again. Yeah, of course, you know, when you're getting the app out of that. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. Oh, wow. So this is where I think we temporarily join back up with the red trail. I'm getting uh, chickadees. Chickadees? It's a chocobo. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh yeah, that's the entrance and that's the the car park where we did the red trail, started the red trail from is just around that corner. So here we go. Another bit of an incline here. Resting point. This is the red trail, so down there we'll branch off again. Beautiful greenery. Well, I tell you, you do this trail two or three times in on a boat. broken down bridge yeah. yeah and this would be the blue trail but you know since the bridge is no longer exists uh, and there it is um, this this little part we're on has become both the red and the blue isn't that spectacular
every now and again you get lucky and you'll see squirrels or chipmunks or, you know uh, we saw a raccoon up here when we were doing the red trail I didn't quite catch him on video it was cool to see Okay, so that's not going to be red. There are no splits over there. I'd say that's probably an exit point. What do you think? Uh, is this the blue or is it an exit point? I know down I there. I think that's an exit point. Yeah, I think Because the, the park bench is down here. Yeah, and we go straight instead of turning like we would if we were going around the red. Don't forget guys, it started yesterday the big giveaway on Twitch. If you gift a sub or, or subscribe to a channel on Twitch until I think it is August 19th, you get a free three month subscription to Apple TV Plus. So that's pretty good. into a house there's a little forest trail there and we're going into a pretty steep incline now here again Very nice. Well, you can feel that. Another little trail. Now, it splits again here, I'd say. Straight ahead there, probably joins up the red trail again. I oh, know, actually, that's probably the blue trail. This that should be an exit point. This is an exit point, okay. So he's wrong, this one is a blue trail. Okay. Yeah. Steep, deep climb. Boy, it can't be a slug for this trail. Oh no, not at all. And the blue trail is at least, I would say, 
twice the length of, um, if not more, than the red trail. This is definitely over a mile. Oh, absolutely, yeah. The red trail is just over a mile. The red is about 1.28 miles. Something like that. And this is Start easy double that. Already. Yeah. And with all the huge inclines on this one on the blue trail, which is fantastic. That's what we need. Now, yeah. yeah, that's the yellow. That's the red trail. That's the red trail there, yeah. And, uh, what a resting place. And, Actually, that's a yellow trail to the red trail. Yeah. And we continue on the blue trail. Steep decline here. Awesome. Oh. Yeah, you can feel it like you can feel it in your calf muscles. It's cool. So you're getting a really good workout for going across this. Going around, sorry. Checking that bird. That's an osprey. It's an osprey. It's an osprey. Wow, it's an eagle, guys. That's cool. It sounds like an upset chicken, doesn't it? It does. So uh, that again joins up to the red trail outside. That goes to, let's take a look at the sign. Uh, I'd say that's yellow. Yeah, that's a yellow trail to the left. Yeah, the and blue trails to the right. Yeah, so we'll go up this way. Which is fantastic. We get to look at this yeah. wonderful woods again. It's not easy at all. <laughs> no, this is a huge trail. This is scruffy. Always like to say hi. He's super friendly. Well, he just got a haircut, so uh, he's looking pretty trim right now. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. That's another thing, you know, you come out here and you meet nice people, you know. Very friendly people. Wow, you know, I don't know if we make it around the whole so way without changing the battery. Unbelievable. Well, apart from the, the the path, yeah, but it is very, very lateral, you know. Yeah, if you just look up and look at the oh, forest. Oh, yeah, if you just so, look up there and if around there. You could there, just lose yourself. You could. It's just wild. That's what we want to see. Except, you know, for the occasional jet taking off from the airport. <laughs> yeah, if it was back 30 years ago, you'd get a lot of real-life role players coming up here playing D&D. &D and, oh, LARPing all of the place, yeah. Yeah, all of them, yeah. Did you ever do that? I did that once or twice. I always wanted to try real-life role-playing. It was a big thing about three decades ago, but uh, then it kind of died out. They used to do uh, Relay um, Vampire the Masquerade in Cork City back in the early 90s. It was supposed to be pretty cool. But it was the oh, fantasy so stuff cool. I was into. You used to be able to get the rubber swords oh, yeah. and the axes and all that. They look cool. I, thought, I always thought it looked like a lot of fun, you know. 
Unfortunately, most of us were so lazy. Yeah. Wow. Well, there's the road in. And I think yep. we just made it before the battery went. Isn't that ah. awesome, guys? Actually, we do have a bit of left. It's in the orange, but... There's the yellow. There's the yellow, goes down onto the red. Lovely. And here's the restrooms. And the parking lot. Yeah, and you can see ahead there the red kayaks. You can just, there's a machine there you can pay and you can rent those kayaks and take them out in the lake. There's also uh, a little jetty there that uh, you can fish from. And a uh, park, right here's the park host's RV if you know you have any, yeah. questions, you have any questions about the park yeah. itself. It's a beautiful RV too. Must be very comfortable. And uh, yeah, you can go fishing all the way along here. Make sure to renew your fishing license. And these bathrooms are always clean and always stocked with toilet paper. Yeah, there's even a with slide a sink over to wash your hands good. outside. It's great. Yeah, fantastic. Little park for the kiddies. Yeah, yeah. Things for the kids to play on over there. It's just overall, it's just really, really nice. Let's go take a look at the sign here. That was. I'd say at least twice the length of the red thread, you know that? Definitely. Right. Some nice information there when you come down here. And you can see there's even solar panels there for the machines for renting the kayaks. So yeah. Walk us back down to um, to Evanhawk, as I usually do. I want to show you guys the uh, the sun protection thingy we got for Evanhawk. I think it's really cool. Again, I'll be streaming Star Wars later on. So Evanhawk, of course, is Darth Revan's ship. A little picture of it on the side. There you go. And we got these lovely shiny black rings there too. So overall things are looking really nice. We're working on the paint at the moment. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell uh, so you get notifications when we put out new videos. Uh, but for now, that was another trail. Hope you enjoyed uh, Empire Lakes, the Blue Trail.